ซื้อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อv n o c h e s on the specimen and those triangular slicers for attached to them. You can see how they run along the the length of the specimen. So are the v n o c h e s and along those v n o c h e s my crack is propagated throughout the entire specimen. So as you can see now, both this side and just behind, we have no crack yet. But after some time, as the load increases, we shall be able to hear cracking noise or splitting crack noise, and that's when our specimen will be broken. Just have to hold on. I hope I can catch it. The load now is reading 25 and still increasing steadily in units of 0.05. I hope it won't take long. Yeah, it shouldn't last more than uh, five minutes. So we shall be there quite soon. Yeah. I can start hearing small cracks forming. Yeah, we are now almost in the 50s. Ah, great, 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 great. You can see it from. You can see the crack. It has happened. I'll now hold. Back in, put it hard and show you the failure, the cracking. Yeah, yeah, that's the peak. And once it cracks, get back. We see the the hand moving back to almost zero or the starting place. Yeah, and we have our specimen already fully split. I'm sure the other opposite side too is split. We can't see it now here, but yeah, that's it for now. Cheers. So now this is our specimen that has been split, and along this V notch we have a crack that has formed, and that goes through until this side. And sometimes I, I can now easily open it up by any V-shaped object with just my own hands. Yeah. That's how we do splitting test with these concrete specimens. 
or you can just sometimes you don't have the V notch and you just have to use another completely round object or round so specimen. Here I have the specimens that have just been splitting that compressive test strength testing machine and I'll just put them here for example these are the cracks that go through until the side so normally what I do I just have to get this minus driver place it here and just keep just simply like that and I can just put down and have my split specimen. Yeah, you can see the the aggregates, the mortar, and how the concrete is. You can see the opposite side to here. Yeah, and I'm now preparing these specimens for water parts tests. Later, I'll be able to show you how I do it in steps. So I do the same with these other specimens, same. Is a crack on both sides. And sometimes we need an extra force. So I have to use a hammer sometimes to get it to do what I want. But because I want to show this, I'll try to place the camera in a good position that will not be affected by the I hope so I place this here and I use a small hammer or whichever type of hammer and slowly by slowly I try to induce the the crack all through yes slightly not so heavy then by hand I try to separate and it will come out very smoothly like this very smoothly yeah so if I can do it one more time for this other specimen you can see the crack going through and the same here the same here yeah so let's try and see how we do this this may require a little effort or a little extra effort but still the same approach slowly slowly then when you are able to see the full opening you don't have to continue and you just the same way so we have the surfaces next is cleaning up our surfaces are this looking like this well split yeah so here this is now the specimen we have finally made I was able to bind it with these metal clamps here you can screw and tighten at these positions and if you look inside our static penetrating crack goes through the specimen and uh, of course it goes through until the bottom following the V notch and after binding together we 
then apply silicone yeah silicone plus this 8.5 centimeter UPVC pipe on top which will be our water container supply at the when we are doing water pass tests or penny water permeation tests so I've just applied the silicone now and uh, it should be able to dry within four to five hours yeah it's still quite wet so we can see we can still make any repairs on it yeah I've made several others a couple of them for this water flow test and like this they are all having the same same pattern I've reused, reused some of the UPVC pipes and uh, metal clamps and yeah I'll now leave them here to you know dry up and be ready for testing yeah thank you